What's going on, YouTube Rocks? It's Dito Terrier, and today we're bringing you another episode of Fire Emblem Awakening. We are on now chapter 24. Um, this pretty much seems like we're at the end of the game. Um, oh, the chapter 24 is called Awakening, so we're on chapter 24, episode 24, and it's called Awakening. And I apparently Grimma awakened regardless of what we chose to do in the last episode. Um, I'm just happy Chrom lived because I thought Chrom was still gonna die because I our player character, our player character killed him. Well, it seemed like we killed him, but then he didn't, because he saw the future and predicted that he was going to do that, so he stopped himself from doing it. Oh, so this is going to be crazy once we get into it, so let's start off here, see what's going on. No. That's Grimma. No. That's the demon who destroyed my world. And now he is among us. The terrible size of it. Gods. For once, the legend spoke true. We can't face him, not in a straight battle. He'd kill us all. Still. If only we still had the Fire Emblem, we could ask Naga for her power. Then at least we'd have a chance. But Falador took the emblem! And it was lost inside the dragon's table. I know. Hey. What? You mean this Fire Emblem? <laughs> Wait, we have it. The emblem, but how? <laughs> I stole it from you once, remember? The least I could do was steal it back. So we have the Fire Emblem. Roxas, you old dastard. You never cease to amaze me. Quickly now. We must complete the awakening before Grimma catches on. Ah. It said the first exalt paid tribute to Naga at a site on Mount Prism. Really? Do you know where exactly? Of course. Yes. There is an altar at the peak of the mountain. If my lord would perform the awakening, it must be done there. Hmm. A small hope. It is better than no hope at all. Hurry, everyone. All right. So in today's episode, we're heading towards this... Oh, God. People sprung up everywhere, man. So is that castle just Grumma's castle now? The dragon's table, so I, we're probably gonna have to go back there. But, um, where are we heading to right now? We're heading to this mountain, apparently. Mount Prism. Mm. We'll save up here. We have some support conversations to get to, too. Me and who? Oh, Muriel. Muriel's cool. And then Frederick and Muriel as well. Alright, let's see what we got here. We're gonna begin this chapter. It's chapter 24, Awakening. The name of the game in a chapter. This is probably not the final chapter. The next chapter will probably be the final chapter. Oh. It's beautiful. <sighs> the divine dragon's power flows through every blade of grass here. Really? Wait, something doesn't feel right. <sighs> we must prepare for a battle. Grimma has sent servants here. I can sense it. They'll be on us soon. Well, they're here. We need a map. Risen. Who's the main objective of this map? Oh my god. We really are on a mountaintop. Is there no actual person? To oh, there we go. Great knight. Alright. Re-Excalibur. We gotta watch out for these people with these type of things. Re-Excalibur and Thoron I just saw. Valkyrie. This guy's on a horse. Wielding magic. That is dangerous, man. Um. Ooh, we do have Basilio and uh, Flavia now. So we can actually throw them into the, to the, the fray. Let's go. I'm good with that. Let's fight. How could Risen infiltrate this sacred place? <clears throat> Their power must be linked to Grimma's. We must destroy them. Alright. So I'm moving my character over here. Get off that horse. Nice and destroy him. Um, 
some people need to hold back, actually, because there's certain people I don't want to want people fighting with. Lisa, of course, will join Donald, so we need to protect her, hopefully. We can do it, throw a javelin across to this other uh, general, which is good. Um, Pierre Muriel and Frederick up, and they're gonna run along down here. Oh, that's Basilio. I thought that was an enemy for a second. I'm like, wait, who is that? I'll bring Owain with me over here. She can run six paces, so can he. Pair them up together real quick. They can do tons of damage to this guy. But I'm gonna actually. I think I'm up. Oh, I shouldn't have waited though. I shouldn't have put wait. I actually wanted to hold back a little bit at first, but I was like, wait, I should attack, and then I pressed wait instead. Crap. Um, and we'll move up here, I think. Alright. Attacking Krom. That guy's dead, obviously. Should know better by this point. Nope. Not, not, not my cup of tea right here. Hector's axe broke. Oh, my strength is yours. Oh God, baloney power. That's what I call it, the baloney fire magic. Destructive fire magic. One of the strongest magic in this game. But Kalam ate it up. What the hell is this? Silver bow? Get blown back! Don't you dare attack me. Arc wind broke. Owain. Oh no, they got riders. This is bad. I should have brought Varian with me. Well, an Arkwin just broke on my character, so. Mm -mm, we don't have no magic. Ooh, this is gonna be a wild one. Um. I gotta get Krom up there. This is, this is bad. This is really bad. My player character has no magic, and that's like one of my most formidable uh, defenses on my character. He wields magic. Magic goes a long way in this game, from what I've seen. Convoy. Take some magic out of there. Orc fire. We're gonna need some arc wind, to be honest. Trade. Arc win for nothing. Thank you. Bring Lucina down here. That's all it takes. We got elixir. Switch. She can potentially knock him out. He has one HP. Yeah, he'll he's dead. That's why I was like, you can't. You, you may have one HP, but you have a great chance not to live that. Honestly, honestly, honestly. Um, alright. That's not even powerful. Uh we have a Wayne here. Libra's by himself. He's a okay. Libra is a strong independent man. He got this. He can wreck. Risen. You have Doron. Can you die? You live on three. Like, see, that's the that type of thing I don't like. When they be living on, like, little minuscule HP. Oh, my God. You would come after Olivia, because you know everyone does. Because Olivia is one of the best teammates on on the game in the game. Who the hell is this? Libra doesn't have. Oh man, Libra doesn't have uh, range moves. 
But we ain't hanging there, boy. Alright, good, good, good. Reinforcements, just obvious. Zoom back in a bit. Um, I think I'll move ahead. Yeah, I'm wild. I'll move ahead. I don't really care. Who are you? I'll kill you. Get off that horse. Kill him, Crom. There we go. trying to run for me? Take this javelin at you. There you try to run. Oh, I want you off that, that dragon. The Wavering Riders? Get off that dragon. That's a knocked off by fire. Out of here, man. Get out of here. You! You dare come all the way over here? Get wrecked. Sliced off your damn Wavering. Okay, cool. She needs to hitting level 18. She's almost at max level. Um... See, I'd like to not have Muriel die. So I'm not going to have her die. Yeah. I'll keep her over here. Yo, Muriel's like the un one of the underdog people that joined us. She came right back to us at near the end of the game, and she's just putting nothing but the fight to work now. Like, I brought her back out of nowhere, and she's just wrecking everybody, yo. Oh, so you could... You could fight me, huh? Hmm. Nah, I believe in Owain. I was wrong too, he didn't do any damage to him. Damn. Yo, Basilio surprised me. He has a he has a like a plethora of different ways to use weapons. He has multiple ways to use weapons. It's crazy. Yo, Darja's been leveling up like crazy lately, yo. They've been attacking her, man. Libra. Mm -hmm. Re Excalibur. That almost killed Chrome. Oh, Tomahawk, he got sniped by the Silver Bow. Looks like Silver Bow is one of the brokenest weapons in this damn game. I've seen people be one shot and everybody with it. Lobby leveled up with him. Nice. Oh no, Libra, you need to hang in there. Yo, I'm so close to y'all and y'all still spawning weapon uh, enemies. That's why I'm trying to figure out why y'all still spawn enemies when I'm so close to y'all now. Switch. We'll recover from. Mm -hmm. Let's get this guy. All right, he's down. Thank you. Oh my God. Um, I'll arc with this guy over here. Reeks caliber, nothing. Get about. I need to get this guy. Nope. Bye bye. Stand on top of that damn fort. Down he goes. Uh, Sumia. Oh, this guy has a bow and arrow. Gunner. Bop. Uh, that's one of my favorite lances, because it's a powerhouse lance. Can't use it too much, though, because it's one of those lances that you need to, to feel like you need to keep holding on to. Can you not finish this guy? You really can't beat him for some reason. Why is it that you can't beat him? 
he keeps missing everything on him. Stop being trash. This is how you kill him. There you go. Just like that. Phase. Hold on. Mariel almost died. She's probably going to if someone else attacks her. Tharja? Nope. She countered them and killed them. Mark fire broke. Sumia. Sumia dodged it. Come on, you can't you can't do that. See like that you cannot do. I feel like that's a little overboard. When you have Nah, see that's overboard. You can't have the enemy coming up behind you from the fort. Like no, that just defeats the purpose of the game right there. Like you're not supposed to be able to come out of a fort. That's like come on. Bullcrap, man. It's like I gotta watch these guys now, like. And I got hey, I didn't even do any damage to him. What? You've got to be joking. Hold up. Yet you're right. get out of here. Oh Wayne, can you step on this? Oh, and you can't even step on it. Like, this is a crap I'm talking about. Like, that should it, that should not be a thing. Like, come on, you guys. Fix that part of the game. That's kind of dumb. And I'm using Gungner a lot. I don't want to overuse Gungner for it breaks. I want to, because this is one of the best spears that Sumi has had. Um. I will swap, though. spawning freaking enemies is actually actually really annoying like no no leave everybody alone why are you attacking Lucina from there Sumia held her ground. That's fake. That's so fake. I'm right next to it. Wait a second. I'm right next to it. Wait a freaking second. I'm standing right next to it. How are you jumping out of the bar? No, man. That is too fake for me. Owen is going to stay there. I'm going to heal Basilio. No, there's a problem with this game. Yo, she re oh, he reached level A. Let's go, Libra. You reached level A on offense and assistance. Lit. No, this is gonna make this this board longer because of the fact that they're doing it like this. Like, this is a little it's a little cheesy. I have to say, like, I wasn't expecting that from this game. It's kind of cheesy. We're throwing right next to it. Why would you even let an enemy pop out of it? On top of that, an enemy jumped off of their own forges and let another enemy out. Like, that's actually fake really though like that's that makes for this that, that that just really makes for uh a dis like a just a taste a taste that you that's not part of the game that doesn't make the taste of the game good like it just makes me just look at it like really you're really like going that hard for the right next to the end of the game like that is not even it never happened to me like in the whole game during this whole game i don't remember that happening like people jumping out of their own fortresses once one enemy moves off their fortress another one comes out like that's really cheesy that's stupid and they're just making it harder for us just to go ahead. It's not even that hard of a board. It's just that, oh, let's just make enemies pop out so we can make them take longer. Like, get the hell out of here with that. Rally. Look how long it's taken because of that. Nope, we're not dying. Hey, Libra finally hit max level. Let's go, Libra. Lisa. No. Leave her alone. Leave Sumi alone. Thank you. Yo, leave my girl Sumi alone. Y'all attack her for no reason. And now the main enemy is moving. What happened? Nobody spawned? 
y'all tired? Y'all tired of spawn teasing me? Towering ball. Pull that magic, baby. Wrecked. Don't live. Thank you. Just get blown back. I don't care if Mary has 2 HP. She could live it. Heal up, girl. Alright, we're good. Basilio has a silver bow, so I forgot. We don't actually need to have an archer with us. He's a very surprising character. He, has, he knows how to do a multitude of things. He's a true warrior right there, man. He is a warrior class, too. That's the funny part. Alright. Yo, I slay dragons, too. Get out. And then we move down here, and then we'll switch, and we'll wait. And that. Darja? Nemesis, you will never. Naga, Nemesis, Let's you will go. never. Okay. Get wrecked. How you get bodied like that on your own turn? Yo, I'm telling you, Darja's leveling up, like, wildly. Leave Owen alone. No point. Leave him alone. Like, there we go. Bop. Down goes the fallen or the risen. Wait, that's not the end of the map. What the hell? They've been doing this this whole time with this game. All of a sudden, they changed everything up. It's probably the end of the map. Bop. Victory is served. There we go. Yeah, you gotta kill all the enemies now. That's what it's turning into. The heroes of the stage are Frederick and Muriel. Hmm. Not bad, not bad. Alright. Let me fix this headset because it's getting kind of wild. Um. Right. We've made it to the we've made it. The altar. Wait here. I'll be back. <sighs> be careful, Crom. <clears throat> we must believe in him, Aunt Lisa. Oh boy. Cause you have to brave Naga's fire, right? And that's the only way your mind and body will uh, be able to inherit this power that they're, they're talking about. Hear me, Naga. I bear proof of our sacred covenant. In the name of the exhausted blood, I ask for the divine dragon's power. Baptize me in fire. That I may become your true son. Oh, they got all religious and whatnot just now. Ooh. Father. I'm I'm all right. That's Naga. Be welcome, Awakener. Your heart has been tested and deemed worthy. Cleanse in my fire, your desire has proven to burn the stronger. <clears throat> then, you will grant me the power to defeat Grimma? The power of a god? Yes. But know this, I am no god. Huh? But milady, you are the divine dragon. Indeed. So do sons of man name me. But I am no creator. I possess not the powers of making or unmaking. And neither does Grimma. Neither of us bears the power to destroy the, the other, the other, utterly. Still. Then what power can you grant me? Lead me. With my blessing, thou may draw forth Valachion, Valachion's true might. The blade of the exalts shall again strike like the dragon's fang. Your strength will then be my equal. <clears throat> but not strong enough to destroy Grimma? Yes. Alas, Grimma cannot be slain. Sleep alone can be your victory. Just as your ancestor put the fell dragon to sleep a millennium ago. But you must weaken him first. Only as the final blow can my power be used to bind his. Isn't there any way to destroy him for good? There is, perchance, a power that could end Grimma. However, it would be his own. I see. He has to kill himself? Yes. Yes. And never would he do so of his own volition. 
He seeks only to add to his power and set ruin upon the world. Now come, there is little time. Listen. Where is Grandma now? Lead me. To the west lies a volcano known as Origin Peak. You shall find the fell dragon there. You got the exalted Falachion. Oh my lord. Whoa, this is going to be crazy. But with that, you guys, that's going to mark today's end of uh, the episode of Fire Emblem Awakening. Oh my god, we're going to be hitting the final chapter in the next episode. So I hope you guys are bearing with me. And if you guys have enjoyed the series so far, mock punch that like button, like, and if you're breaking the story, do whatever you want with it. Also, if you guys have enjoyed the um, the episode as well, of course, do the same. And drop some comments in the section below. Tell me what you guys enjoyed about the video as well. With that, I'm going to take my leave. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. I appreciate the time you guys take out, take out of your day to watch this. But with that, I'm going to get out of here. Bye!